<laughs> well, people say I don't. And so a lot of you aren't going to believe this. And probably more of you don't even want to hear it. <laughs> but the truth is, I got fans. <laughs> That's right, I got fans. I got plenty of fans. <laughs> Little fans. <laughs> For the first time ever, we go back in time, back in the history itself, to show you some early Elmer Lang, from the days when Elmer was a performer. Well, I live on the corner of 5th and B in Manhattan. ABC No Rio a hot poet performer's venue in the Lower East Side. It had an open mic every Sunday night. In the 80s and early 90s, the Lower East Side was one of the hip hoods of the world. A mecca for artists, performers, and oddballs who thought they were great artists and performers. ABC No Rio was an especially potent place to perform with the hippest MC, the hippest audience, and the hippest performers known to man. I went there because without having to dog at anyone or suck up to some ego-tripping producer, I could sign up and a hundred people would see me perform. I feel like Orson Welles. <laughs> That's the point. Rosebud! <laughs> this guy OD'd on my kitchen floor and stopped breathing. I needed to give him mouth to mouth to the emergency crew arrived. There was one obstacle to that. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Because this guy, this is like the third or fourth time this guy had OD. His version of a cry for help was go D on somebody's floor. And he'd already OD'd on my floor once. Why couldn't he OD on somebody else's floor? Put somebody else in the position he put me. I held his life <laughs> in my hand, <laughs> and I didn't want to save it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but you weren't looking at him. <laughs> he had this crud around his lips like he just vomited. <laughs> There was this little cloud of stink, I swear, this little cloud of stink right above his mouth. I said, I'm not doing it. I'm not giving him mouth to mouth. Fuck it. I called the ambulance. I'm not doing it. After that, it was real quiet. <laughs> Me and him waited for the ambulance. <laughs> it's weird when there's two people in a room and only one of them's breathing. <laughs> You don't think about it, but there's something weird about it. And trying to think of something else, I remembered. Did you know that the ears are the last sense to go? They require the least amount of blood to function. 
blood to function. And when somebody ODs, just because their body's unconscious doesn't mean their mind is. He could have been listening. <laughs> And to think the last thing you'd hear is me refusing help? So, finally, I got down on my hands and knees. Oh, man. Oh, man. And I put my lips to his, those stinking, drug-stupid lips. And I blew <laughs> into that stinking, drug, stupid mouth, lungs, body. When the emergency crew arrives, they just give him a shot and boom! He's up. <laughs> Staggering around. Hey! Let's party, huh? <laughs> and I'm wiping my mouth. You scumbag! <laughs> I held his life! <laughs> In my hands. <laughs> and I didn't want to save it. Was it me? <laughs> that was a composite story. I see several of them here tonight. <laughs> <laughs>